Welcome back to Defense of Global. Today, we're witnessing a pivotal moment in modern aviation history. On December 26, 2024, China took a bold step forward, conducting test flights for two distinct sixth-generation fighter prototypes. This unprecedented move has sparked global attention and intensified the race for air superiority in the 21st century. These tests are a clear demonstration of China's growing ambition in military aviation. Unlike previous designs that often drew inspiration from Russian or American aircraft, these prototypes are said to feature unique indigenous designs. This shift signals a new era for China, one where it sets its own benchmarks rather than following others. Why is this so significant? The concept of sixth generation fighters is still in its infancy, with only a handful of nations capable of even pursuing such advanced technology. These aircraft are expected to redefine air combat with features like hypersonic speeds, enhanced stealth, AI-driven systems, and network-centric warfare capabilities. By showcasing two prototypes, China has adopted a dual-path approach, testing different designs to determine which one best meets the needs of future air combat. This strategy ensures flexibility and hedges against the risk of technological failure in any single design. It's a bold move, signaling confidence in their research and development capabilities. The test flights have also shifted the focus back to the United States' next-generation air dominance engine program. While the U.S. is widely believed to have tested its own sixth-generation fighter as early as 2022, it has maintained a tight veil of secrecy. Unlike China's very public display, the U.S. has chosen a more discreet approach, leaving many to speculate about the progress of its program. This public unveiling by China sends a clear message. It aims to lead the next generation of air combat technologies. It's not just about advancing its own capabilities. It's also about challenging the global perception of dominance held by the United States. Beyond the United States, other nations like Russia, the United Kingdom, and Japan are also pursuing sixth-generation fighter projects. However, China's dual flight test gives it a significant advantage in terms of timelines and international optics. It's not just about who reaches the finish line, it's about who demonstrates capability first. The implications of these tests are profound. For the U.S. and its allies, this serves as a wake-up call, potentially accelerating their own timelines for sixth-generation fighter programs. For China, it's a statement of intent, a declaration that it is ready to compete, not just in numbers, but in cutting-edge technology. As these developments unfold, one thing is clear. The world is entering a new era of military aviation, one that will redefine air combat for decades to come. What do you think? Has China truly taken the lead in the sixth-generation fighter race, or will the United States and its allies respond with an even greater technological leap? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Defense Sense of Global for the latest updates on military advancements. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.